Hello and welcome to On My Bookshelf and in this episode we're going to be looking at Seascapes by Neil Burnell. You may remember from a previous episode of On My Bookshelf, I took a look at Neil's previous title, Mystical. I absolutely love this book. So when I heard Neil was going to publish a book called Seascapes, I just knew I had to pre-order it. But now that I've got it, what's it like? Let's take a look at the physical characteristics of the book first. Seascapes is a soft cover book and the text is done with some silver foil and it's a really nice touch. It's 72 pages long, it's done in matte paper and it's printed right here in Devon. The book opens with a foreword by Stuart McGlennon who goes on to talk about Neil's unique style and how his photographs need to be savoured. He also mentions that he can't remember a time when Neil wasn't producing astonishing work. I've known Neil for a few years now and I have to agree. Neil also has an introduction where he talks about his own unique style, photographing his local area and his journey in photography. The book is then split up into three collections of photographs. Let's take a look at them and I'll show you some of my favourites. This first collection of images is called Deep Blue and this photograph titled Slate is striking. The photograph just oozes mood with its cool tones, heavy sky and dark ominous rock formation. But there is just enough light on the side of the large rock to give it texture and contrast. Neil shows that just because you want a dark and moody photograph doesn't mean you shouldn't pay careful attention to you, how you use the light that you do have. Though many of the photographs in this book lack a sense of place, I do recognise some of them from my own photography adventures. This image titled Hidden Land is one such location and I find Neil's interpretation of the scene compelling. There is great use of colour and tone that helps deliver Neil's unique style. I appreciate Neil's careful selection of exposure time here as well, long enough to take out some of the choppiness of the water, but not so long that you lose some of that movement and texture. Chrome Seeds is a collection of Neil's black and white photographs, and the first one I want to look at is this image titled Solitude. And I just love the apparent simplicity of this image. However, this is a great example of the need to savour Neil's photographs that Stuart talked about in the foreword. There's a lot to appreciate in this photograph, the symmetry, the use of negative space. But what really catches my eye is again that use of subtle available light against the boat which helps lift that boat and make it a three-dimensional object against what is relatively a flat grey background. The aptly named Peaks is another standout image for me. The S-curve of the wave against the near blackness of the sand is striking. But then as you look up your eyes find the small rocks that act like a path leading out to the peaks. I appreciate the square crop, the placement of the horizon and the darkening of the sky. It's a photograph that makes me wonder what would it be like to stand on that beach at that moment. Visions is a collection of Neil's more abstract work where you'll find him using techniques such as ICM and multiple exposures. It's a collection of images where you see Neil really pushing the boundaries of his personal style. The image that I'm drawn to most in this collection of photographs is called Moonshine. It's hard to describe the emotions that a photograph like this invokes. On one hand, the picture is dark, moody and has a sense of foreboding. But on the other hand, there is a light from the moon casting some subtle light across the sea, revealing the lighthouse and even providing a sense of hope. I can see this image easily being used on the cover of a book or hanging on someone's wall as a piece of art. So is this a book for your bookshelf? Well, for me, it most certainly is. Neil's style photography clearly comes through in this collection of photographs. But it's also a big enough departure from the photographs that we saw in Mystical to warrant a purchase. That unique style that Neil has isn't just a stamp he puts on every picture. That style is carefully and uniquely applied to each photograph. While many of the photographs are dark and moody, it is the elements of light that lift the photographs. It's the tiny bits of detail that are revealed that make exploring these photographs such a joy. And while many of these images lack a sense of place, there is still something very familiar about them. But at the same time, they will transport you to another place, perhaps even another world. And for those reasons, that's why I'm delighted to have this book on my bookshelf. 
If you want to pick up a copy of Seascapes by Neil Burnell, you can do so using the link I've popped in the video description below. You can buy it directly from Neil. It is a limited print run, there's still a few copies left, so I suggest if you want to get one, you head on over there now. Also on Neil's website, you'll find details about his workshops and one-to-one -one tuition as well. But I do hope you have enjoyed this episode of On My Bookshelf. And if you've got an extra few minutes, I'm popping up the On My Bookshelf playlist. There's sure to be a title in there that might fit your bookshelf. But until the next video, I'll see you then.